What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Dredge. And I'm picking up right where we left off. We were here with this guy right here, the one-armed man. The airman. And we are looking for some pieces for a mortar, and we are looking for dog tags of his fallen crew. So with that being said, <clears throat> I'm going to take off from here. Literally just waking up from from a rest. Get right into the business. So what I'm going to do is I noticed this right here was destructible. And I just happen to have one explosive on me. I would like to have had more, but uh, they're not. It's not always readily available. But anyway, go ahead and grab this. With that being said, I had some messages last time. Goldsmith and Son received the sum of fifty dollars and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Return to customer tomorrow. 23 December for collection. Engraving is to be as followed for J, my shining star. All right, and then this one's just all question marks. It feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another letter. This will be the last one. Oh, that's... Woo! -hoo. Anyway. Uh, I needed to catch a tarpon and bring it back to them. That's the freaking satanic guy in the robes. Alright. Help the airmen assemble a mortar. Find the frame. Alright. So now that we blew this up, I don't know what's going on here. The only thing I know for sure is that there are some mind suckers out here. And they're trying to suck people dry. <laughs> so to speak. But I do not want to be involved in any of that crazy nonsense. So I am just trying to find... Oh, here we go. This is this is money. I hope this is actual... An actual ship. You never know when something like this might turn into a satanic crab of sorts. Oh. Get this going. Here we go. What do we have here? All right. A mortar frame. That's what that guy was talking about. So when it comes to getting other stuff, don't seem to be able to investigate that wreck. I wish I had some more explosives, even though that looks like it's just refined metal. Oh, and then that guy right there is trying to suck. Trying to suck somebody off over there. I suggest the uh, old fighter plane. The wreckage of an old fighter plane lies buried deep in the sand. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Oh. Oh, dude. I have a feeling that thing's getting close to me, though. Oh, I heard the music. So that was a dog tag right there. Where are we too? Cause I actually, we actually haven't explored this whole area. That looks like potential. No, that's just, I can't think of anything that we need any supplies for right now, but, and this area is kind of hazy. Oh look, there's a dock right here. What's this all about? Oh, is this gonna be one of those like sketchy camps? Oh, I definitely hear some stuff going on over there. All right, so let's check this out. Campsite. You see a campsite? Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of the large tree nearby. In fact, inspect the fish. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared. Someone must have left in a hurry. What do you want to do? Check the bundle of fabric. A nest of rags lays at the base of a tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved into the tree trunk above. There are three distinct, distinct sets of symbols. Look at the first set. There's a book symbol underneath a wave and then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. 
<clears throat> Five unfamiliar symbol symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. There are three distinct sets of symbols. A book symbol sits above a wave. Downward arrows point from the book down through the wave. There are... Okay. Well, that's interesting. And also kind of creepy. So... I'm kind of not sure. I almost want to go the other way. But this is pure exploration right now. Y'all already know that there's a bunch of random scattered stuff around here. So that's our main thing is right now we're just... We're just peeping. And if I'm not mistaken... Oh, there's an island over here. That we actually have not been to. And these mind sucker people got me worried. I'm trying to suck somebody's mind out. Yeah. See, I hear stuff out here. Look, there's a plane right there. So what I think I need to do is I think I actually need to get some more explosives, but... I think this lady here might be the only one available. That has explosives, but let me, uh, let me put this research in here and I have a worn gold ring. Gold always holds its value. All right, I'm taking this back with me. And I, I wonder what she has here. She does have another set of explosives. Beautiful. But only one. I wish she had more. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I'm going to look into this research. Fathomless Winch, we're getting that. I don't care. Oh man, it's tempting to get that. So we still have two. I'm not really worried about the nets. It's either going to be an engine or a rod. And I'm thinking I might almost just want this engine here. So let's just go ahead and dump this in here. And then let's rest. For tomorrow is a big day. So we do have one dog tag to give to our friend. I have one explosive. To deliver to somebody's forehead. But I also... Actually, you know what? I think I really want to explore that island over there. And with that being said, I believe we should haste it up. So there's an island over here. Off the beaten path, of course. It probably has absolutely nada to do with this current mission. Well, that actually looks like it might have quite a bit to do with the mission. So there's another... Sh uh, not shipwreck, but there's another uh, airplane that's crashed here. And I'm glad we did go over here because it actually does have something to do with the mission. It is an airplane that has crashed. What could this be? This looks like a research part. We're getting this. Because we know better now than we once did. So I guess we will take the research part. And then we have a ship here. That Okay. These crabs, dude. Alright. Alright, bro. Alright. You wanna play some games with me? Crabby Patty, dude. Alright, so this island served its purpose. And... Let's see, do we have time to make it back to our old friend here? I think the best thing to do would probably be to go over here. And I'm not too worried about these people. They can try to suck somebody's mind if they want. We're trying to get this guy some closure for his fallen homies. So this dude's like a straight shot, which is cool. And that's not cool. I guess they can't suck people's minds back here in the back. 
Alright, let's go talk to our friend here. He's gonna be happy to know that we have got a few things for him. Airman. I got a piece of a monitor. there. I removed the- the frame has been removed. That's the lot. Now while I'm- while I work on assembling the martyr, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. <laughs> you may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons there, matey. Around here, I've assembled these traps for the mine suckers. We'll need to lure them in there. Once they're in there, you see, I can fire on them with our new martyr. And that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. <laughs> you guys are the orca man's voice right now. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map, you got it? Alright, uh... Yeah, I understand. We need to make three special baits there, matey. From different combinations of fish. This one takes three fish from the area, matey. To make, matey. So it's got like a gar and two... Kind of basic looking fish. I don't have the fish for the bait yet. I'll come back when you need the rest. Let's talk about the second bait there. We need two fish from the area. So it's a catfish and then one of those other fish. Let's see. Let's discuss the last one. Two of the eels. No problem. No problem, buddy. We got you. But before we go into that, I got some dog tags for you. I'll let you let you see them. Hmm. Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Oh, two research parts? You flatter me, laddie. So let's see here. Pursuits. Trap the mine suckers. Alright, I need to find the bait first and then we'll see. So we got some areas marked on the map here. And I believe those are where the traps are located. Also, plan for the future. We're almost done reading that one. We're 75% of the way. And... I would like to see what we got on the research now that we have three. So, being three of those... You already know I'm gonna have to go get this engine. Once we get back to Sub Shack over there, uh, to our rusty pontoon, rickety pontoon, I will be getting this engine. Now, with that being said, taking this explosive with me, and I am going to undock, because I noticed that one of the baits he needed... <clears throat> Were those eels that we actually found like right behind where the boat is? So I am going to just cruise around, and if the mine sucker guy comes out, let him try to suck somebody's mind. Whatever makes him happy. But I don't think he's gonna have much luck because we're going for the eels. Oh. That's definitely one of the ones that we needed. And it did get a little bit darker now. This is an eel. Not exactly where I was expecting it to be, but nonetheless, it is an eel. Oh, look, a catfish, too. And that's the first time for me catching that one there. And I think that's a pretty good start, and it's late, so I might just hit this guy up before my paranoia level goes too high. And I don't know if we got enough to actually complete any of the baits, but we might have enough. How are things going, matey? We might have enough to, like, <clears throat> drop a couple off. Let's discuss the first bait. All right, there. Take that one, lassie. I don't have all the fishes yet. All right, so let's talk about the second one. So I do have this fish. Lamb. Hmm. Oh, but the third one... The third one I think I do, bro. Yes, sir! Alright, take that. Give me that guy. Take that. That'll do! Alright. Oh, no, I think I have a good idea where it goes. Oh, no, that's all for now, matey. It's all for now. So let's rest <clears throat> for tomorrow is yet again another big day so tomorrow's the day that a mind sucker stops having the ability to suck people's minds and before we get too carried away let's check it out what they're talking about 
All right, so we did catch a giant catfish just now. We caught some stuff. Cool, cool, cool. We got this bait. A thousand milling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says this should attract the beast in the twisted strand. Shall be careful. But if you look here, there's something right in front of us here. And I'm not sure if they're trying to say this is where people... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, this is where the sucking of the mines happens. A large cage is suspended over the water. A small receptacle is floating beneath it. Load, You load the bait into the trap. You should probably move away. Oh. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You got anything for me over here or what? Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mine sucker. Airman will be expecting proof of your success. Don't mind if I do. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Yeah, well, that's what you get for messing with the best. And this looks like the fish. Oh, snap, that will. It did look like the fish we needed until it was a mutated version. But let's get as many of these as we can, because when we go back to the Arman, he's going to be like, what's that? So three of them, but let's get another normal one, because we do have like an abomination one. Perfect. But with that being said, encyclopedia, entwined mullet, twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish, a heave in unison moving the fish against its will. That sounds really scary. And I am going to head back to Sub Shack. Well, actually, let's check this out real quick. Oh, it's a ring of some sort. I mean, well, not a ring. It's gold. Shapes in the deep. Broken monocule. Monocule. And my friend is over here. Perfect. So we're making good progress, dude. I don't really... I don't really get down with those uh, those mind suckers, but my guy here, he knew what to do. So let's go ahead and take this treasure off and add it to our little treasure pile here. Yeah, that thing looks cool. Let's talk to him real quick. How are things going? I have a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes. This is one of the base. Yes. Progress at last. More to go, though. Hmm? Excellent. So he took that off of me. Oh, no, no. I need to talk to him about the bait. Sorry to cut you short there, matey. Talk about baiting these bloody traps. Let's talk about the, the stuff for the first one here, matey. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it, pig. Just mix these in and load this into a trap. All right, I'll take that. You know, let's discuss the second, the second one there, matey. That'll do it. All right, so we got one, two. That's all for now. That's everything. And I'm gonna undock. Oof, 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 oof. I don't have to hit anything. I don't want to pay for damages. So I do have another explosive, and I did remember that there was... Alright, alright. I hear y'all making all kinds of noises and stuff. Let's see here. Let's bloody see here. So they're talking about oh, right over here. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we can do this. Load the, load the bait. There you are. Come to me. Ah, uh, what I'm talking about. Fire at will. Ah, uh, another one. All right, inside the obliterated corpse of a mine sucker. You shall suck no longer. You vermin. 
All right, so we're out here late at night. Something over there? Oh. What is this that I see? A crooked boulder with a small, simple platform at its base. The twisted shape of the deformed fish is barely recognizable carved into the rock face. The waves lap up to the platform where you laid the, aber the aberration. As the water makes contact with it, buzzing sound fills the air. Previous is still water bubbles up and over, obscuring the fish. A few moments later, the water calms. Something else is at the platform. What in the world? Mechanisms, mechanisms of brutality bound to three gouging, flaying hooks. An ungodly fishing device. Oceanic mangrove shallow. What in the world? Alright, so I just put a fish in there that was seemingly... Uh, like grotesque or whatever the term is that the kids are using these days and that shit just happened they gave me some crazy thing I'm gonna have to check that out later that's the craziest shit I've ever seen <laughs> I've seen those oh snap a plan for the future has been completed so I've seen those before but never like that okay let's check this out oh the fuselage of an old fighter plane sits amidst a mass of broken wings and wheels. Try to get inside. Oh yeah, we got another uh, we got another boot here. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know how many dog tags there are, but that's been a few now. All right. Gosh, Lee, it would be nice to get back to the rickety pontoon before somebody gets their their brain sucked out. But, uh, it's a little scary right now. Uh, I think I'm making it, though. So let's get over here. We do have a couple fish that we could sell. Yeah, let's get back to the uh, rickety pontoon here. And we'll just... Smash into it, full speed. So let's talk to her, and we will sell all the stuff. And we will store this freaking, this boot we got all in Texas. So this is a tendon rod. I don't know what in God's name this thing is other than some kind of crazy fishing device. All right, let's drop some more of this treasure off here. This is for my guy. That's craziness. This is crazy. All right, well, we'll calm down with that for now. So actually, let's move this up here because I want to talk to my lady here. Let me rest because I am paranoid. I need to talk to my lady here about some business. First of all, I need another one of those. And we are deep in the pockets here. So I'm going to need this. I'm gonna need this off you, Lassie. But what I'm gonna need to do here is I'm gonna need to sell this. And I guess uninstall this. The storage. And then we'll uninstall this guy. Oh, actually, let's sell this guy. I don't know why we uninstalled it. All right, let's just, we'll just do what we can here. All right, so 675, no problem. Just have it going the right way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is worth it. So we have the ability. We have the ability to get two additionals. Let's see here. And you know what? As far as the research goes, I almost want to research these little engines here, but we don't have enough of the parts. That's okay. 
Well, you know what? Why we're here? Forget it. Like we don't, we don't, we're not worried about stuff. We got money. So we got this peculiar one, and we got this one that's not particularly peculiar, but put it in there. Perfect. So we are balling, and it is kind of late in the day. So just to be safe, I'm gonna rest, and then I'm gonna go in there, and we're going for that last mine sucker, and. That's, that's all there is to it. Alright, so let's undock here. Yeah, we can't have people getting their, their brains sucked out here in the in this uh, swamp any longer. It just won't do it. It just won't do it, Lassie. So I think we are going to navigate around this way. Yes, yes indeed. I'm gonna go over yonder. Check the map again. So through here, through all this nonsense, which you can barely see Jack Diddly shit through. That's one of those stones that's cold to the touch. What's up here. Got something for me in this wreck or no? Evil crab, maybe? Oh, so it's back here that the evil's taking place. Oh, look, this guy's trying to get his his brains sucked out. All right, so let me think. Don't try it with me, bro. I'm telling you, dude, don't try it with me. I don't I don't play those games, man. So I need to get on the other side of this wall, but that's where uh, the mind sucketer is at. So you know what? If I'm not mistaken, I'm just gonna banish that attitude, bro. Let's go ahead and use some explosives here. Chikeo. Oh, that was like very intense. And there's another Palus to breeze us. Use another explosive. And this is what we trained for. But we know what we're doing here. Let's get through here. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, people are getting their their brains sucked out over here. Yep. I knew it. Oh, we loading it. We loading it. Your time has come. Yes, take the bait. Heck yeah, fire at will. Beautiful. Give me that corpse. Let's go talk to our friend. We've done we've done good work today. We've done good work today. So let's see here. He is going to be on the other side of some stuff over here. I'm not sure how many different ways that you can go. What is this nonsense? Am I paranoid? I must be paranoid. Alright, I'm going this way. They got me bloody mind. It's, it's mind tricks. Alright, dude, I think you're gonna be happy to know that we have every single ting that you have ever asked us for. So let's check this out here. First of all, found some dog tags. I can't imagine that there's more than that. Thank you. I hang them on the tree here as promised. Oh, beautiful. Another thing. That's all of them. Yes! I can't remember any, that I can remember anyways. I can't picture their faces too clearly anymore. Hmm. I have creature corpses to show you, sir. Another one taken care of. One remains by my count. You have more? Yes. You drop the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic happiness. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It fills, falls away before the blade revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he, he rests it 
from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. Do you recognize this necklace? Well, fisherman, some fortunate at last has ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector here. Why don't you take it? All right, brother, let's get out of here, man. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. Bro, get on the boat, homie. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm. hmm. What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought he'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing, hmm? hmm? Here, take this. What's left over from the other bait we made? Right now, we can make some fresh stuff if you like. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. Hmm. Ability unlocked. Bait. I'll need some fish from you first. Any type will do, but the more you give, the more bait I can make. Hmm. Oh, I appreciate it. All right, bro. Well, I definitely appreciate that. Um, gosh. Well, you know what? I do appreciate you, sir. And with that being said, I'm not a thousand percent sure if we've explored everything here, but I think that I am going to look around a little bit. I think actually I'm gonna rest here after all. I'm gonna rest and then I think I'm gonna go look, make sure that we didn't miss anything. All right, so right now I decided to take a pit stop back over here and I just remembered that we didn't actually get this one that we needed. So let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing. And let's go ahead and sell this bottomless line Let's go ahead and get this. Fathomless winch. Because it does abyssal, hadal, and oceanic. And all we were doing before was abyssal, hadal, and the same, the same, same, but different. Let me get this dynamite off of her real quick. And I'm not sure if we would want to get anything else right now. But, uh, actually, let me see. Does she have any... Does she, she have a research bar for sale? She didn't. And I don't think we can really research anything else right now. Honestly, and if I could, I think this little engine thing would be it, which I just did. So, I'm going to undock here because I want to explore the outskirts here. Because we went around the other side, but we didn't go around this side. So, if there's anything we could possibly have... What is this? Oh, that's that island right there. I was going to say, if there's anything that we could possibly have gotten that we didn't, I want to make sure we give ourselves, you know, the best opportunity to find everything. Another one of those ridiculous humming stones. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Loose pile of debris, use explosives. Set the charge, light the fuse. Chikeo. See, this is what I'm talking- What in the world is that? Some kind of monster. Oh, it is a monster. Goliath tigerfish. Fearsomely predatory. This gigantic fish is also one of the most aggressive. Its teeth are so large that they punch holes through the opposing jaw. They're a damage to their- their harm to their self here. This is a some kind of trinket. I'd love to get those little jet engine things. I'm not sure how else to get more research parts. And that was a emerald ring. I don't know if we've ever got one of those. Okay, and with that being said, maybe there is a something else over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe there's something going on over here. Actually, no, I think I've actually been over here before. All right, so I'm going to go back to the, to the, uh, you know what? Actually, no need to mess around any longer. I'm going to go ahead and go back because I need to deliver this shimmering, shimmering necklace, a large and ornate necklace. Ivory teardrops blank the central setting and emerald trapped by the four cresting waves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manifest destiny myself back over to this guy's crib.
Because you know he's going to be wanting this necklace. I think we did everything we could. Aside from selling that fish, which I probably should have done. Dang it, I didn't think about that. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on, the, on a dusty table. Candle wax pulling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. One more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot. Knees on the verge of buckling. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach. The devil's spine is likely a candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Are you human? Your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as a human, as human as you are. All right, so he just read some nonsense from a book to me as well. I need to talk to that lady, but I've neglected to do that. So I think what I'm probably going to do here is check this out real quick. Map. They want me to go to Devil's Spine, which is new. I've caught the fearsomely predatory. I've already said that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undock here. I'm going to go over to my trinket guy. And we need to be back hasting it up. So I did get atrophy. Reap the corpses of any fish in your sights long range. What? Wow, that's very interesting. All right, well, let me sell some of these trinkets off to my buddy here. He's a good friend of mine. Ah, stay a while. Okay, I got to get him out of my storage. So let's see here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Get that cowboy bloop, bloop, scoon boogie. And we'll take some of this other shiznit. And we'll say, hey, buddy, what's up, dude? You got $310 for me? Appreciate you, dude. And then I am going to undock here as well. And I believe I'm going to sail over here because we know. Oh, come on now. My guy's not that paranoid. I'm going to sail over here. And I do think that this fish right here, this Goliath tiger fish. Let's check it out here. So I do think that Goliath tiger fish is... Here, yes. Report Goliath Tigerfish location to Traveling Merchant. So I just have to do that, but I believe I can sell that fish here. I haven't seen this strange red light in a while. I wonder what that was. Yeah, I wonder what it was too, bro. It was you buying that fish. So I'm going to sell the fish to this guy like I just did. And then I think what I'm going to do is I am going to travel real quick. Because I do know of another fish that needs to be caught real quick. So I will, I believe I am going to travel over here to the Ingfell area real quick. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, so arriving back at the Ingfell area, and I know this is like really out of character here, but basically I remember this little waterfall situation with the fish we couldn't catch before. But now we got like the dopest gear. So now that we got the dopest gear, I think I want to catch this fish real quick. Because I believe this will also be a legendary fish that we need to turn into this fisher traveling merchant. Yes. The oarfish, a splendorous crested sea serpent. The length of its massive body catches the light shimmering with iridescence. Freaking beautiful. So let's just go ahead and I'm sure this serpent still as pissed as can be that we're just chilling in this channel here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to our traveling lady. And I am going to sell. I'm going to sell this beautiful fish to her. And then I'm going to talk to her. So let's see here. Encyclopedia. Beautiful freaking fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to this lady. Hey again, come by for a chat. About those rare fish you wanted. 
I found that orifice just now under the waterfall. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you need it. Oh my gosh. This is how we do it. What about the other fish? I found the gulper eel as well. Right next to where they were crack a lacking. Right next to the kraken. Oh, I had no idea. Goliath tiger fish. I found that in the swamp a minute ago. That's all I got. The cola cons thing. I don't have that. My lord. So now that we have that, I'm getting I'm getting this for sure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then I think the next best thing will be to get this. But now that we have that, let me check this. Let me talk to this lady real quick. So what I think I'll do is let's see here. Does she have anything else for me? You know what? I might just buy this because you never know when you might need a nice explosive. So 9.5 plus 9.5. So that's going to be... It's going to be better than these two things. But I think what I'm going to do... So I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to sell this. I'm going to uninstall this and bring it to storage. And I think I'm going to grab... Oh, you can only get one at a time. All right, so maybe that's one per day. So I am going to rest here anyway before I go to the next place. But we got next stop. We're going to Devil Spine. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing else left for us but to go straight to Devil Spine. Find out what's going on. So I'm hoping that this lady will have the ability to sell at least one more of those engines to me. And you know what? We're going to have to do what we always do and go... Back to our storage. Get this engine. Install it. Until we can get the other ones. But as of right now, we did like almost every single thing that we could do. And we are going... We are going up here to, to Devil Spine. And we are hauling ass. Sometimes when my screen turns red, I immediately assume that... Something is happening. I already know. I already know about that stupid little island right there. So, Devil's Spine, but we have a little three-piece and a soda in front of us. Let's go check this out real quick. Nobody ever had a problem with the little three-piece. Uh, I hear an eagle, and I hear what sounds like a gigantic underwater being. And there's a remnants of what looks like there might have been civilization here. Not sure about this. All right, well, let's check this out real quick. You undock next to an old robot. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You approach cautiously. Did you, did you throw it back? What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in fog followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom. The man makes crude explosive explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried, as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the book covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from, where, where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and Crimson, Silver and Crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring at the flames. What do you know about the fog? 
It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? What does like have? What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her. He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Holy shit. Alright. This poor bastard. People thought he was dead. People thought he was dead, but he's a freaking G'd up gangster who can survive anything. Alright. Let's go check this out. So it looks like we got a friendly pontoon over here, which is what I like to see. And night is falling. And crazy, like, sharp, scary noises are happening. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Another kind of pontoon. Was it the fiery pontoon? Charred pontoon. That was a close guess, though. Alright, you guys. So, we have freaking come a long ass way on what we've been doing today. So let me see if she has another one of these super... Nope. Okay, so it's a new day, but she still doesn't have the engine I need. Alright, well, we are freaking rocking and rolling. We're going 111... 111 knots. 220% fishing. 3,750 lumens on our lights. Alright, we're rocking, yo. So with that being said, we made it a long way today. We we got the mine suckers to stop sucking people off in the swamp, and we have now made it to this beautiful region called the Devil's Spine, and we are at the Charred Pontoon, and I believe that there is several other orders of business to do here, but as of right now, I want to say this is a good stopping point, and dude, love this game. This, is, this game is super dope. I really appreciate everything that went into this game. And I want to say also, I appreciate you guys for watching and for caring and for supporting. And I can't wait to see you guys in another episode. But until then, I just want to say thank you. And you guys take care. And of course, as always, peace out.